See, one thing that I love that the UFC is doing right now, guys, I've been thinking about this all day, is a lot of these fights, well, some of these fights that get canceled, they're rebooking them. Which because some of these fights need to happen. Like, I wish that Macy Barber would have held out and waited on Montana to get better, but who knows what type of injury that Montana had. Like, it's a leg injury. It's, it requires surgery. It seems to be pretty severe. Um, who knows when Montana De La Rosa will will be ready to fight and I really don't think that Macy Barber was wanting to really sit out that long and wait on Montana so she got that fight but you know we were supposed to have it I think it was August we were supposed to have Leona Jojua versus Courtney Casey well that fight got scrapped and now that fight is rebooked and it looks like it's happening in November which I'm happy because that's just a month away um, but Leona Jojua versus Courtney Casey is a pivotal it, 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 it is a pivotal fight at 125 pounds, guys. And the reason I say that is because Courtney Casey is on a, needs to prove her worth at 125 pounds. She needs to prove that she belongs here at 125. And beating somebody like Jojua, you know what I'm saying? I think, uh, you know, at this point, I think Courtney Casey just needs a win. But for me, I think that the person who has more to, to gain here with a win is Liana Jojua. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like all the other Georgians, like this Georgian wave has come in, Rob Wallace Willie, um, uh, Roman Delize, like, I mean, Giga, uh, Giga, however you say his name, Giga Chikadze, like all of these Georgians have come in and these Georgians are whooping ass. Leona Jojua, you know, she, her road has been a little rocky. She lost that fight to Sarah Morris. You know, Sarah Morris missed weight. Jojua was fighting upper class. She was severely outsized. She beat Diana Belbita, and then she comes in and loses the via doctor stoppage to to um, Miranda Maverick. So it's not like Jojua is in here getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like Leona Jojua is in here getting outclassed in these fights. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. But in the fight with Courtney Casey, you know, I think that I think Courtney Casey presents um, problems of her own. She's tall. But it's, I feel like Courtney Casey isn't something that a smaller girl can handle because look at how Jillian Robinson manhandled Leona Jojo. I mean, uh, manhandled Courtney Casey. I'm talking Jillian manhandled Courtney Casey. So with that, watching that Jillian Robinson fight and seeing that Jojo and Robinson are very similar, um, you know, in certain ways, except that, you know, when Jojo is, Jojo would like to, like to bring you into a brawl. That's what Jojua did. If you go back and watch the fight with Diana Belbita, Leona Jojua, you know, stood right in front of Belbita and because she knew Belbita was a striker. You know what I'm saying? And Belbita just came forward right into Jillian. I mean, right into Leona Jojua. Like she just blitzed. Like she just come forward throwing these haymaker shots at Jojua, and she just Jojua took her down and submitted her before you could even blink. The fight was over. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's the danger that lurks with Leona Jojua. Like you can't be like, like, you know, and, and, and kudos to Miranda Maverick. She stayed on the outside. She knew, see, Jojo was trying to bait uh, Miranda Maverick in. You know, Jojo was trying to, you know, make Maverick believe she wanted to stand and bang. And a lot of Jojo's shots were landing. But but Miranda Maverick just used footwork and angles and was able to avoid getting pulled into that fight with Jojo because if it goes to the ground, your best bet of beating Leona Jojo is on the feet. And, um, and Miranda Maverick took full advantage of that. Opened up the nose. Jojo was one of those nose fighters. You know what I'm saying? She opened up the nose of Jojo and then the fight was over. You know what I'm saying? But with, in, with Courtney Casey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to lie. Before the fight with Robertson, I worried about Casey. I, I was like, I mean, I worried about Robertson. I said, Courtney Casey's hands are just so much better than Jillian Robertson's. But the problem with Courtney Casey is it doesn't matter. She's so worried about being taken down and put on her back. I think that if Leona Jojua comes out here with that game plan, she can she can go in here and beat Courtney Casey. Jojua just has to be smart about what she's doing. And if something's not working, then she needs to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? I, I, there's a lot of potential in that lies in Leona Jojua, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of potential in Jojua. Um, a lot of people don't see it, and a lot of people do see it. You know, and I've seen it when I, when she when she took. I mean, it was just so obvious when she baited Diana Belbita in. And it's crazy because Diana Belbita in her next fight, she went out there and looked like a damn superstar. You know what I'm saying? But when she, the way Jojua baited um, Belbita in and Belbita just ran right in and Jojua took her down 
it was crap. I was like, man, that was quick and that was easy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like JoJo will try to throw hands with Courtney Casey. Um, JoJo was not afraid of striking. She loves to strike. She will strike with you. She has power in her punches. She got pop in her punches. You know what I'm saying? And she, if she gets this fight, to, I've seen many different styles of ground fighting from Jojua. And Jojua's kicks are good too. Let's not forget about her kicks. You know what I'm saying? But Jojua will take you down and she will, you know, submit you very quickly or she will take the Jillian Robinson approach and and, and, and and positionally dominate you. And I think that that way, the second way, you know, positionally dominate you is the way, that is the route that Jojua should take only because We've seen that in the fight with Jillian Robinson, Courtney Casey cannot handle that. It did not matter how good of a striker that Courtney Casey was. It didn't matter. It did not matter. And fighters like Jillian Robinson can make it not matter how good of a striker you are. You know what I'm saying? If the ground game is, is on point, all right. If the ground game is on point, you know, and, and, and the striker is afraid to, you know, is afraid to really engage you know, then and then that's on them. You know, they ground game should be together. You know what I'm saying? Because, but but Courtney Casey, the minute Courtney Casey got comfortable, and, and the thing about it though, like the minute Courtney Casey got comfortable on the feet, two things happened. Jillian Robinson started landing a lot of strikes on Courtney Casey. You know what I'm saying? Jillian started opening up. I feel like that fight with Casey was, I hate to say this, but I feel like it was practice for Jillian Robinson. You know, because when the fight, when when it's, you know, when 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 Jillian was engaging Courtney Casey on the feet, a lot of openings happened, and Jillian was able to land a lot of shots, head kicks. You know what I'm saying? It was all coming together for Jillian Robertson. You know what I'm saying? And the minute that she got, she she let Courtney Casey, you know, believe or think that she that Jillian wasn't going to try to take her down, boom, Jillian ducks under a shot, takes her down, and finishes the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, Leona Jojo, if I was Jojo and her team, I'd be watching a hell of a lot of a footage on Courtney Casey. You know what I'm saying? I'd be watching, I mean, I'd be watching that fight over and over and over again. And there's a clear path to victory for Leona Jojo. So, of course, I'm rooting for my girl She Wolf. Let's go. Let's go, Leona Jojo. But let me know what you guys think about Jojo versus Casey being rebooked. That fight is next month. I can't wait for it to happen. My girl, Leona Jojo, will finally gets back in the cage. I can start talking about her more. You know what I'm saying? Her chance a fight coming up. Let's go. This is your boy, BJ, back with No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And your boy is out. Let's go, She-Wolf.